Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, the Ukrainians are bragging that they will uh, most likely receive uh, next year the attack MS uh, medium long range uh, missile systems from the United States of America. Attack MS, I don't know if you call them attack MS. Uh, and uh, they brag about, oh, we're going to certainly receive them. I think the decision has been made already because right now they just try to get us used with the idea they will receive him. That's how the way it goes. It started with a little conversation. And then they say, well, we're going to get him. So they just uh, they can't really say it now. The public is not ready, probably. This article comes from Ukraine form from uh, the 30th of December 2022 today. Ukraine may get attack attackums next year depending on battlefield developments <coughs> excuse me do you mean if you uh, are still at war with russia by then i think that's what they mean if we're still uh, fighting the russians then uh, we and our sponsors actually then we're going to receive that i think the decision was made but anyway has been made but who knows they do minister for foreign affairs dimitro kuleba is confident the next year that next year ukraine will receive attackums ballistic missiles with a range of up to 300 kilometers it's about 200 miles as well as modern drones but this will also depend on the situation on the battlefield the head of the ukrainian diplomacy stated the head of the diplomacy oh my god this guy stated that this is this in an interview with rbc ukraine ukraine form reports and i'm quoting next year yes but it will also depend on a situation on the battlefield, Kuleba said. So um, he noted that the issue of obtaining weapons, there are loud stories that are circulating at the moment involving tanks, warplanes or attack MS. They will receive all of them because I say so. <laughs> You'll see if the war still uh, rages by February. And I'm quoting, the army has its specific needs. Relatively speaking, if I were offered a hundred, a hundred tanks or a hundred howitzers now, I would not hesitate to say a hundred howitzers now. While tanks could come tomorrow because I know the real demand at the front line and understand that it is now, now much more critical. That means you're in a defensive state. That's why you want attack. Uh, you do you want uh, howitzers and you don't want the tanks. Thank you very much for the information, you idiot said the head of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Okay, you see, he talks about things that they don't talk in articles specifically titled, oh, oh, are we in an offensive, we're winning, they're losing. And this guy says, well, I would pick the defensive things, you know, but, uh, you know, just shoot, just shoot at those guys. Nothing that would roll forward, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Stupid. According to Kuleba, there is a level of symbolic weapons. And there is a level of specific needs, correct, of the army as of today, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow. Ooh, so philosophical. And I'm quoting, and, uh, and at every meeting of the Supreme Sin Sikh staff, uh, chaired by president, we look at it from this angle. What is needed here and now, and what will be needed tomorrow to defeat the, the enemy, the minister explained. At the same time, he noted that the military assistance that foreign partners provide, provided for the past 10 months, including weapons and munitions, is unprecedented unpre both in terms of volume, volumes, range, and number of countries involved in the process. And I'm quoting, of course, we are at war. You all are at war against one. So who's the coward here? You, you always have a, a number. If you have a number versus one, you know who's the stronger, right? And still you are uh, in a defense, I think. And it's not just, just because I woke up this morning with that feeling, but <laughs> you just have once howitzers instead of tanks. That tells you a lot that tomorrow, today's needs. Today's needs just to bomb the shit out of those guys over there as far as possible. Keep them far. All right. So, um, of course, we are at, I'm quoting, at war and we never have enough. You never have enough. So we always ask for more, but we must remember a simple fact. Let's see. We receive more support than any country has received, at least in the 21st century, Kuleba emphasized. Well, I don't know if that's something that you should brag about because there are people like uh, 
people that I know very well, <laughs> that will think of it like uh, differently than you than the expected feeling. You trigger a different feeling. Like people would say, "What about my children? You're not fighting for my freedom, but you're taking from my money." So mm, I don't know if some people would like that. Yeah, you like it for a while, but it's been 11 months. Anyway, you don't have money here, for instance, in the United States or Great Britain or Germany, to provide. I don't know. Um, Healthcare, uh, healthcare the, um, nurses and uh, whomever with money because you don't have it, you don't have it in a budget, but you give the Ukrainians uh, millions and billions of dollars. How is that, do you think, is going to look? Oh, we don't have anything to provide you here. We're going to negotiate. You're going to get 1% uh, increase of your wage. Yes, that's a victory. Bullshit. And you give those guys hundreds of millions of dollars, billions of dollars. No, the roads are shitty, the schools are dilapidated, the, uh, God forbid you go to a hospital to see what's going on over there. But anyway, as Ukraine Forum reported, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken announced that Patriot systems are included in the new package of military aid to Ukraine in the amount of $1.85 billion. B -b -billion. The Minister of Defense of Ukraine, Oleksiy Reznikov, the kosher guy, one of the four, said that the Ukrainian military will master the Patriot qu Patriots quickly. That is to say, well, uh, it's going to be Ukrainians operating that, just, just like that, straight in the middle of the war, with about, what, six, in, six months of training, and then they will be perfect, because they're going to operate uh, the expensive Patriot missile systems. It's like you, it's like you uh, have some people operate an uh, airplane, uh, let's say a jet fighter, uh, the one modern one, you just train him today uh, for how many hours and then you put him to straight to work, go fight. You know how logical that is? <laughs> yeah, okay. You say, well, Emil, those are not idiots. They start to learn a system from scrap, from scratch, from zero. Okay? So it's like putting me over there, basically. Or maybe some people more, you uh, uh, know, uh, in tune with uh, air defense systems, but they have to, to learn everything from zero. It's a different system, different communications, different, different everything over there. You might understand the general principle of that, which I or you can understand in about 10 minutes or five minutes maybe, explained by a, a smart guy. And you learn that, and then all the specifics are new for him, the new Patriot uh, operator, as would be for you. And I don't think he's a genius either. So we're going to need some time just to learn it, then to apply it and be experienced because you're going to be tossed in the middle of a war. You don't have enough time of train to train. And training is very expensive, not expensive, important. Because if you're not trained, you're not going to react just like that. You, oh, what is this? Why, why, why? Let me take the booklet. Uh, if you push that, an incoming missile, you just activate by pushing. Okay. Click. Oh, now what the fuck is... Okay, let me see. Click, click. Uh, shut the fuck up, Sergey. The missile is coming. The missile is coming. Shut the fuck up. I have to read, man. I can't remember this shit. Okay, do you remember it? No. Shit, I fell asleep during the class. So, you know, don't have that kind of time when the missiles are coming towards you. But hey, we're supposed to believe that those guys will be just chop, chop, chop right there on it. Yeah, bullshit. The administration of the US President Joe Biden is considering the possibility of sending... Bradley fight, fighting vehicles to Ukraine as part of further package of military support to defend against Russian aggression. They will send. They will send everything but nuclear weapons and uh, uh, troops, uh, boots on the ground. So yeah, they will receive that. It's fine. That's not an escalation. That's a de-escalation. Because if you arm yourself, you make the enemy back off. But if uh, the population arms itself, that's not good. It's an escalation, and why do you need guns to defend yourself, you know? You, you will not, uh, you know? The logic goes the other way. So give weapons to Ukraine to fight the intruders because they need it, and that's a de-escalation. But as a citizen, they try to limit how many guns you have, what kind of guns you have, blah, 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 blah. Why do you need them? Well, how about defending myself against what? For whatever I feel like. It's not any of a fucking business who I'm trying to defend myself in case. You don't want it? Don't buy it. But when they come to, mm, 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 don't call uh, me, call those guys going to show up in about, I don't know, an average three, four, five minutes and three, four, five minutes on average, uh, a lot of things can happen. But you do that. I don't want to do that. Okay. 
I want to act and defend myself on the spot. I don't want to be fucked in the ass first. And then in the three minutes, uh, the police shows up. And uh, uh, yeah, let's take a picture. Stay over there, Emil. Okay, oh, pretty deep, man. Uh, I don't want that. You want that? You do it. I know. I want to be able to defend my family and my life. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.